thousands have gathered for Friday prayers in Tehran. Iran's supreme leader, uh, uh, Ayatollah Khamenei, at uh, Friday prayers has spoken, has given his sermon. Uh, he was seen at such a massive uh, public uh, gathering after five years. It is a massive uh, symbolic uh, funeral of Hezbollah Secretary General Hassan Nasrallah, who was killed in an Israeli airstrike. Uh, that is being held in Tehran at the moment. And Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, as you can see there on your screen, is taking the lead. He is speaking to people. There is a massive, massive gathering on the streets of Tehran. Let me go over to my colleague Vishal for more on this story. Vishal, what does this, you know, gathering, people coming out in large number, as we can see in that square in Tehran, really signify? So this is a rare moment because this is after five years that the Supreme Leader of Iran is addressing so many people on this stage. So uh, this is a sermon, that, an official sermon that is giving to the people of Iran. And as I mentioned earlier, this is a rare occasion. In the last decade, he has only done it twice uh, as far as the uh, latest reports are concerned. So uh, the thing to be noted here is that uh, what's he saying in this, uh, in this sermon? Uh, he just started speaking, that, so that would be interesting to see. But uh, uh, as soon as the reports of the death of the chief of Hezbollah uh, was you know, spread across the world, uh, Iran's supreme leader, uh, the, reports, the, the counter reports had come in which said that the Iran supreme leader would be addressing so many people, uh, lakhs of people you can see on the screen are already there in Tehran. So he is addressing the people and it is to be noted that he is also being accompanied by a senior Hezbollah leader, uh, the brother of the, you know, the, the potential successor uh, of the Hezbollah chief. Uh, the brother is present there and he is also on the stage, I believe, and uh, it would be interesting to see what these leaders have to say because, uh, as you know, we have been reporting that Israel is weighing its response uh, three, four days ago, Iran had you know, conducted this historic strike on Israel soil. Nobody had died on the is Israeli soil, but it was billed as the biggest strike that Iran has conducted on Israeli soil. So Israel's war cabinet is meeting as we speak, and it is deciding what the next plan is. And uh, Iran, the Israeli side has also been speaking with the US, and that is no surprise. Biden this morning uh, said that uh, they are still weighing what to do, and uh, the US side is also discussing uh, with the Israeli side whether or not to attack the Iranian nuclear sites. Right. That is the main concern. So it will be interesting to see what uh, the Supreme Leader of Iran says. He's, he's telling his people, uh, Vishal, you know, let's go back to those pictures from Tehran um, that, that uh, we are getting at the moment. Would you say for the people who've gathered there in large numbers today in the middle of this war situation when things have escalated, it, it can be called a show of strength? It is actually exactly that because uh, when you know, uh, some reports have suggested that uh, Ali Khamenei is on the top hit list of Israel now. So that's a big statement and to come out during these times and addressing lakhs of people on the, you know, the, the middle of the city, that, that, that takes guts and that, that, that also shows that what kind of security apparatus Iran has. So Iran has a lot of powerful organizations within its arsenal. One of it is IRGC, which is the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps which sort of uh, maintains security of the region. So uh, the, the members of that security force would have, you know, hawk's eye on whoever is moving around, whoever is present in that location. So uh, because in the last, uh, you know, decade, there have been few instances in Iran where a congregation has been attacked and dozens of people have died. And uh, to do this at a time when there's a threat from, direct threat from Israel, uh, it, it sort of uh, sort of speaks about the Iran's capabilities when it comes to secure handling of security. Would you say, uh, Vishal, uh, uh, till now uh, the the attacks that have happened have not directly uh, directly been on common people, the people who uh, who conduct day to day lives in in Tehran and around Tehran, but the fact that this gathering is there today and. Uh, Ayatollah Khamenei is speaking. He's telling them how to be in a war time. Is it, is it, is it what he's telling them? He's trying to get them uh, understand about the situation, 
get, uh, make them aware of what could be the consequences and thereafter, you know, lead them to a path or lead them to a, to a position where, you know, things could, could be amicable? Uh, that would be interesting to see, but uh, he has been rallying people for a while now. He is the supreme leader of Iran. His word is the, you know, uh, they follow his word to the heart and uh, whatever the, pre the supreme leader says is followed by the president of Iran who was elected recently. So uh, it, it, is, it would be interesting and, to see. And, and we saw from those pictures, there's some fist pumping going on. It must be uh, yeah. some message that was conveyed to them which uh, stirred up the uh, the public yeah. that's present in the square. So the sentiment is pretty clear in Iran and the you know, neighboring circles because uh, Iran is a powerful player in the region and it has been an, a sworn enemy of Israel for a while. Both have been you know uh, attacking each other in you know proxy ways for a while. Mm. There, there's an organization called. Uh, axis of resistance, uh, the, you know, these are spread across the Middle East region that have attacked Israel and its allies in the recent past. And now it has come down to direct conflict between both these powerful powers. And uh, so th that would be interesting to see because so far uh, there have been attacks in the last few months uh, from Israel and Iran on each other's soil, but they have largely been of strategic deterrence. Uh, which says that they want to attack the other party, but they don't want uh, see, uh, you know uh, severe severe damage to be done to civilians because that would escalate the situation. So it's been statements for for a while. Uh, whether or not this will you know boil into a bigger conflict, that is the worry that the world has right now. When a war a situation like this is uh, playing out, uh, a bigger worry is of the economy. Uh, would, would you then say that, you know, by addressing the Friday prayers, he would also be talking about Iran's economy and uh, if the oil installations are hit in the future, then how does the country then go about, um, con go, go about uh, you know, doing things in a way that, that, that doesn't impact the common man? He would most certainly touch on that topic because Iran, uh, as you know, is a major producer of crude oil in the region. In fact, India also uh, used to take a lot of oil from Iran. Uh, so uh, the fact that it has been uh, able to sustain itself even after so many sanctions uh, shows that it is a powerful player. And uh, of course, there have been reports in the recent two, uh, in the last two three days that say that, they say that uh, uh, Iran's oil facilities and nuclear facilities could be attacked. So he would be addressing that for sure. Uh, and uh, as I mentioned earlier, US and Israel have been discussing uh, what kind of attack would it be. Uh, and uh, on the other hand, Biden has been saying that hmm. he, uh, US won't support Israel's attack on nuclear sites. So it's a messy situation. Uh, what kind of impact it will have on the rest of the world is what the world awaits, the world leader awaits, and uh, that would be interesting to see. And Vivek, I, I am seeing all men in the gathering and not seeing too many women. I don't know if there have been any pictures of women. So clearly the men here are, are at the forefront. They are being stirred up. You can look at those pictures coming in from Tehran as uh, uh, Iran's uh, supreme leader Ayatollah Khamenei address uh, them at the moment. It is wartime. He hasn't done this. Uh, in, 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 in many times in the last decade only. It's, it's the second time that he's addressing uh, the public like this. Uh, it is a huge, huge show of strength uh, by the people of Iran in the city of Tehran going on at the moment during the Friday prayers. Thank you very much, Vishal, for getting us all those details.